Hello everyone, today we are doing another Witcher video and today we are going to explain what a Witcher is and how they become one. I'm not going over Geralt specifically, but what happens to everyone when they become a Witcher. A Witcher is a monster hunter for hire, traveling around the continent, being hired by towns and cities to kill a monster that is hindering them. Though a Witcher is good with most weapons, their training focuses on swords. A Witcher carries two swords, one being silver and one being steel. The steel sword is used for more mundane beings such as animals or humans, and the silver blade is used for monsters of the supernatural. Ways to tell if somebody is a Witcher are their eyes. They are almost cat-like. Another way to identify a Witcher is their Witcher medallion. The form of the medallion indicates what school they are from. For example, Geralt wears a wolf medallion because he was trained at the school of the wolf. If he went to the cat school, he would wear a cat medallion. That is actually a school, I did not make that up. The medallion does serve a purpose though. It is sensitive to magic and tugs and vibrates on its chain when spells are casted or magical beings are present. Witchers are also known for taking potions, making their enhanced abilities such as strength and speed even more powerful. The picture in the background is of Geralt on one of the many potions that could be taken before a fight with a powerful monster. Nobody is born a witcher. They are not a race. They all start as humans. It is not until they enter a witcher school they gain the abilities. Witchers are taken in as children, most being orphans or runaways, and are brought to a witcher school. There are seven different witcher schools, but we will be focusing more on the school of the wolf as it will be more prominent in the show. Once there, they go through extensive training. The first thing they must go through is the choice. The choice is the voluntary decision to follow the Witcher diet, which consists of mushrooms, mosses, and herbs, plus the grueling physical training. Many fail this stage and go into madness, or they die of liver or heart failure. During this, they are taught how to fight with a sword and pirouette oncoming attacks. It's not just physical training though, they are also taught monster lore, herbalism, and magic. The magic they are taught is very simple and they call them signs. Some signs are casted with a ranging of fingers, others can be drawn from a solid surface. They can be very effective in combat and this is one of the reasons why most witchers prefer one-handed weapons so they can have a free hand to cast. During this stage, they are subtly introduced to a mutagenetic through the food they eat, but most of the mutagenetic compounds are introduced during the three trials. The trial of the grasses, the trial of the dreams, and the trial of the mountains. This is also the reason why most people insult witchers by calling them mutants, because of the changes their bodies go through during the witcher training. The trial of the grasses is a very painful trial. It requires the consumption of a special alchemical ingredients known as the grasses, which affected the physiology of the subject. It is designed to break down the trainee's body and rebuild it. This is an excerpt from the world of the Witcher. The procedure lasted several days. Over that time, we were given magical mutagenetic potions that completely altered our metabolism. Then we awaited the effects which were usually unrelentingly awful. Non-stop fevers, vomiting, hemorrhages. Only three in ten survive this trial. Those who do not die in agony gain lightning quick reflexes, their signature cat-like eyes, and other bodily enhancements. Next is the trial of dreams. This consists of even more consumption of mutagenetic compounds, also being extremely painful. This involves the mutation of the eyes, bone marrow, and hormones. This also allows for better night vision. The consequence of this trial it leaves the subject sterile. The last trial is the trial of the mountains. This is more of a final exam for the Witcher trainees. It is intended to verify whether the trainee remembered anything from the previous trials. What the trials ultimately do is create something to hunt and kill inhuman prey. The abilities from the mutations are night vision, an enhanced sensory system allowing a Witcher to identify animals from the scent of their blood, and sense nearby creatures when they are out of sight. Another ability is a tremendous resistance to disease and a boosted immune system which allows them to consume potions that would kill normal men. They also have increased strength, speed, reflexes, and endurance far beyond any well-trained human. 
They can also end fights with minimal effort and perform physical feats that non-witchers could not match. A witcher can defeat most monsters with these physical abilities plus their extensive training, whereas regular men would have to be in a large group to defeat a monster. Witchers can also shrug off blows that would knock out normal humans and have been able to survive strikes from powerful monsters that would otherwise kill regular humans. They also can heal much faster from their injuries. Another ability is their long life. Vesemir, a witcher in the series, is centuries old but only looks middle-aged. It is also believed by many, even witchers themselves, that they have no capacity for emotion, so they feel nothing for the monster they are slaying. But this is somewhat debatable amongst witchers and the different races in the story. So what do you guys think about the witchers so far? Are you going to watch the Netflix series? Leave it down in the comments below, and if you want more Witcher content, please subscribe, and as always, have an awesome day. And, you know, check out the Twitter. Seriously. Evil is evil. Lesser. Greater. Meddling. It's all the same.